The debilitating effects of identity fraud committed by a drug-using former Waka Kotahi contract worker have robbed a man of his corporate career and left his credit rating in ruins. David Kerr's details were stolen from a transport agency system by David Allen Davies, who then ran up $26,000 of debt in Mr Kerr's name. Today, Davies was jailed for two years and five and a half months. Our Manawatu reporter Jimmy Allingham was in court. David Kerr's life was going well until a couple of years ago. I was in the process of purchasing a house in Auckland, which I was starting to get through and getting a pre-approved loan, and life was going pretty good, mate. Good. All right. So prior to David using my licence and personal details, my credit score was um, 820 of 1,000. In his victim impact statement to the court, Mr Kerr says that's a perfect rating. Then... All of a sudden, his rating score was that of a junk bond. I spent months trying to clear my name, and I still struggle. The continual contract contact, which admittedly slowed down a lot from debit collectors, and the frustration that no one was listening to me when I tried to explain the situation, becoming too much, and I started having a negative effect on my work and my home life. Stressed and unable to explain why he was getting chased to pay debts he'd never obtained, David Kerr quit his job and moved in with his parents. His poor credit rating meant he couldn't get work handling money. Thankfully, I found work with an old school friend. I've gone from the corporate world, managing teams and sales a high volume of responsibility, to now driving trucks. He says he's lost over 50% of his wage. David Davies racked up $53,000 of debt in his victims' names and attempted to obtain another 98000 In 2018, he changed people's details in Waka Kotahi registers, including his own, to get off a driving while disqualified charge. Davies claimed he was forced to do this by gang members standing over him who made him obtain credit to pay the drug debts of a border living with his mother. But the border says Davies was a drug user and his offending was funding his habit. Defence lawyer Keela Peter says Davies has written to credit agencies to explain his offending to help his victims. He argued for Davies to serve home detention. My client is truly sorry for his offending, not just in relation to Mr Kerr, but he is contrite in relation to all the victims um, across the board for his offending. Crown prosecutor Guy Carter doubts the remorse was genuine and says Davies must be jailed. Mr Carter says claims of coercion are untrue. It's the Crown position that this defendant continues to minimise his offending. In particular, he minimises his reasons for that offending, and that, I suppose, in some respects, ties directly to the Crown position on these coercion claims. Judge Bruce Northwood agrees with the Crown and noted the effects of Davies' offending on his victims. Waka Kotahi suffered damage to its reputation, while Mr Kerr lost more than that. He was a complete stranger to you, uh, and before his life was impacted by what you did to him, he had solid personal circumstances and a good job. But you used his details to obtain credit. Uh, You used each line until they were exhausted, then started again. Waka Kotahi says since it discovered Davies' offending and sacked him, it has tightened its processes to prevent unauthorised access to its systems. It's 20 past five.